Okay, so we're going to do a recap. This is awesome. It starts out like just as we envision it. Eris is looking real nice. We start out, we hear bombing mission. We're, we've already busted five nuts at this point. We see the train, and we're pretty confident that the remake is going to and it's going to capture pretty much everything that the original did. It just way better. It's going to look better. It's going to play better. It's just going to be better in every way. Hops off the train. This guy is an alpha fucking Chad already, and he he's ready to go. So we see this, and we're we are we are sitting pretty right now. We're already happy. Haven't even seen the gameplay yet. Please we just see one cutscene. For starters, okay. each press of the square button is a swing of Cloud's Buster Sword. Cloud attacks, dodges, and blocks all in real time. His yeah. Okay. So. Damage, but they barely scratch the so we get some like we get some like fantasy souls here. Interactive combat with ATB, uh, and you can dodge and block. Like that's you know so so it's great. It's very interactive, but. But the of Cloud's true potential, there's something else. Succeeding on the battlefield requires much more than just hacking and slashing. Cloud it's needs not to just R1 chugging. He needs A T B. A T B. Two ATB bars are displayed in the lower right. So, the way I see it is, you can expend ATB like a meter in like a fighting game, right? And that's how I see it. The meter fills up, and you can do like an EX move which is a uh, more powerful attack. It's also an ability that's unique to the character. They also explain that different characters have like different abilities, like Barrett has like steel skin or something. So it seems like his abilities are probably going to be like tank buildish or something like that. Cloud just has like braver cross slash. Hopefully eventually he gets access to like other women breaks. The way they're going, the direction that they're going with this seems like it's going to probably evolve into Omni Slash eventually, um, but I don't know yet. Fill up slowly over time, but fill much faster as Cloud lands standard attacks. Yeah, and so it's not like it's not just like a it's it's not just like a yeah. So it's not like a it's not like a masher or whatever, because if you do. Your attacks are gonna do like damage, just like one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, two, two. So you have to do like different attacks first, and you have to build up that ATB because that ATB is like pretty much your bread and butter for you know battles or whatever. And then I don't know if it fills. Up, I don't know if it puts you into this tactical mode like uh, whenever you get one meter or both meters. I think if you get both meters, you can do like boom, boom, like two abilities in one go because he also mentions that using spells items and abilities all consume one meter one bar uh but he had i think he had one bar up at one point and it didn't put him into tactical mode so um you can do like combos or something you know if you get uh two meter up so tactical mode where time slows to a crawl and you have the opportunity to choose actions from the So it kind of pretty much tops stops stops time and this is this is this is this is also interesting too because it's like a combination between freestyle battle like active battle and it's also a combination of kind of ATB as far as like you know FF10 it's your turn you can do whatever the hell you want you can sit there for 10 minutes, go take a sh come back, nothing happens. So once you get this option, it kind of combines like turn-based with free action battle. And it's very interesting. I've never really seen that. Such as Cloud's braver attack. Yeah, so that expends Using one meter. Battle will deplete an ATB charge. And if Cloud has the right materia equipped and enough MP, he can use ATB charges to cast spells. Of course, this being a remake, we're sure to see some familiar faces. Boys. With his iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely... Yeah, see, this is, this is cool. This is really f***ing cool. I like it. With the use of his iconic um, gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges... 
charges Where similar is it? to Cloud, but his abilities are in top. Yeah, so having this mechanic does a couple things. It increases replay valuability. I mean, the game already has like great replay value as far as like characters you can play as or something, but there is one major flaw in the character in the character design in FF7 is that the only thing that really differs one character from another is like the limit breaks. Because everything, everybody can pretty much do the same thing. Everybody can equip the same armor. They can equip the same accessory. It's just like weapons. Okay, whatever. They still do damage, but this is really cool. They have different abilities. And granted that there is a lot of empty space here, you will very likely be able to gain access to new abilities. Maybe there's like a skill tree. Maybe there is... I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point. So... Right here, you see Steel Skin. I'm assuming that, like, increases defense or something like that for, you know, a certain amount of, like, turns or, like, time time limit. That costs one meter. Focus Shot takes two. So I'm guessing that's, like, your, your nut buster or whatever. That's, that's, and that's really cool. And um, maybe, down, maybe down the line, like, these uh, ATB meters, they get shorter... So it doesn't like take up, it doesn't really, it doesn't like take up so much like screen space or whatever. They get shorter or something. Maybe you get access to like more. So you get like three or four at meter. Uh, so your abilities, y you can do like a couple of them in succession. Like that's pretty cool. Steel skin, temporarily reduced damage taken, how easily you are, and how easily you are interrupted. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, um, what is that flesh, iron flesh or whatever from Dark Souls? Except it probably doesn't make your movement speed like zero. Yeah, okay, so, and then I don't know what Focus Shot Highly does, different. but it's probably Switching like, you know, a good thing. Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes rotating through party members a snap. Speaking of other party members, katasi san when are we going to see Tifa in action? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some screen time. I'll probably turn off the camera at that point. You know, it might take a I might take a small break. You know, I'll let you know. I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you know what's up. By switching between characters or issuing commands to characters with full ATV bars. Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up. Yeah. So this this again. Um, and this is where it's kind of combining like a lot of different mechanics from other games. So, like you got the stagger from FF13. So uh, that's pretty cool. You know, um, I just, one thing I don't want it to be is very brain dead. Just like DPS the boss down, build up the meter. It, you know, kind of like Sekiro. Uh, the more you attack, the, 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 and that's, where, that's, that's what Sekiro did. It was kind of... A little brain dead ish whenever it came to like building up stagger you just poing poing firecracker firecracker poing firecracker attack 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 poing firecracker poing poing firecracker and then like you build up the stagger meter and like you just do your deadly attack thing or whatever and then like you do it again you know granted that like, you got to learn the boss patterns or whatever but it just didn't really feel like super um dynamic it was just like very static it just had like one direction or whatever Look to the top left. Okay, so it's got the buttons here. Looks like issue something to allies, switch characters, evade, guard, command shortcuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, lock on. Yeah. You got all these commands at the at the top left here, and that's pretty awesome. And you know, and that's that's not really what that's nothing I didn't expect this to have or something. But again, I was just talking about stagger. I don't. I don't really want it to be like you just uh, just attack them, build the stagger meter, and then do a death blow, kind of like Sekiro. I don't want that. I don't really like it. It's just not very. It's just not. It, uh, it, I don't know. It's just very bland. It seems like too straightforward. It's not super dynamic. So I'm hoping that boss fights, like if it's on regular enemies, that's fine because they're not boss fights. Regular enemies are just like, they're just trash mobs. You just fight through them or something. But for boss fights, I hope there is a unique way or some kind of like cool way to build this stagger meter uh, quickly. 
Maybe if you like rush at a head, ru like rush forward or something like that, uh, trying to build the stagger meter, it goes up like super slow. But if you come at it, if you come at it maybe from behind or something like that, go to the go to the reach around, or like you know on Guard Scorpion it showed there was the the phase two thing it had where every every little damage every everything every attack that you were doing to it did like one damage, but Cloud went for the reach around, started attacking its soul. That was its weak point. So I hope that like boss battles are dynamic in in that way where building up stagger just isn't like brain dead. FF13, I kind of felt that way. I, I kind of felt like it was really just easy to build up stagger. That was your main thing. DPS boss down, stagger, change par paragram or whatever, go to town. And just, I don't know. So it seems pretty straightforward. Like, you know, nothing too super crazy about it other than the fact that we're fighting Guard Scorpion. And, you know, it's interactive and everything. So, and that, now, now as far as building ATB, it looks like you don't... Well, Barrett's building ATB mad fast. Now, what I what I do like though is the fact that you can't just sit there and like spam thunder. That's fucking boring. It, you actually have to work for it. You have to build up your ATB and to do that. Obviously, Guard Scorpion's weak to thunder, so you want to you want to do that. But you can't just like do it over and over and over again. Yeah. So this is like phase two, I guess, when he would put up his tail esque. He, you know, he's got like iron flesh on or whatever, and uh, it's obviously not really doing anything. Uh, so you have to look for a different way to do this. So he gets command grab. He's like, oh shit! And he does that. Doesn't really do anything. But he goes for the reach around. Sees the asshole. He's like, mm mm, I'm gonna attack it. I'm gonna expose it. And then shield goes down, or well, not quite. And then, and then you get the stagger. Yeah, that's what it looks like. The currently selected character builds ATB much faster. So that's the, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. See, this was a major flaw in FF15. The the item usage was broke the game. You could just sit buy like a million potions or a million high potions, and you just don't die. And there is no drawback to it. You just oh characters okay high potion full health okay, go in DPS face tank face tank face tank, uh, high potion, right you just didn't die. Let's get to let's get to the good. Sh Eris fanboys, unzip. Yeah, this just looks awesome. Yeah, clearly Eris is the white mage. And, uh... Oh my god. Look at her. Dude, she... I, I love... Oh my god, dude. Okay, so... Um... Hold on, I'm not just gonna... I'll be right back. Alright. <clears throat> that didn't take long. Okay, so... First off, okay, 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 right here, okay. So, the question was answered, nerf or no nerf, and it's kind of half and half. Dude, is Cloud really drinking? He is, I didn't even see that. 
What's he? About, what's he sipping on? Some Mike's Hard Lemonade. Oh, what's she drinking? I want to know what she drinks, man. I'm gonna take her out, dude. I know we have to think big. Fucking water. Oh, that better be vodka or something. That's a tall glass of vodka. Okay, so right here, she. She looks good, but okay. Everybody's got their preferences. Her eyes are always red. Yes, and that's like one of the things I like. Um, everybody's got their preferences on how they like their women. Okay, I'm more of like, you know, I don't really hold. I don't really like a whole lot of you know makeup and all that stuff. Like I just don't really. And the, like that's how the original Tifa was. She didn't really have really anything there. Like right. This one is a bit more done up. It looks like she's got some stuff going on, you know? Like, she looks kind of kind of done up and stuff, you know? And that's fine, because it's Tifa. And she looks great regardless. But as far as the original design, I probably like it a little bit more. But dude, look. They got to cater to, you know, mass audience, so... That's a good shot. That's a real good shot. Oh, he, he do, he's doing the Joey. He's got the Joey going on. <laughs> Dude, it's a, it's a 15 out of 10 regardless, man. And like, yeah, this is what I love, dude. So I mean, th that's and that's what and that's what I love. Like, she's more monkish. You know, she's really putting her like fighting abilities to the. Brawler, monk, whatever. And this is our, this is clearly Airbuster, and that's pretty cool. Oh 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 oh, dude. Okay, so yep, that's a big deal. That's incentive right there. Receive bonus summon materia, Chocobo Chick. That's a new summon. Usually it's Chocomog or something, but that's Chocobo Chick. Whatever the hell that is, I don't even know. We don't even know what the summons look like yet. That's pretty badass, you know, I'm buying like 10 of them. Pre-order now, get the deluxe edition, we get the steel book case, and we get the Chocobo check. Includes bonus summon materia DLC, Cactar. I didn't see that. Mini soundtrack CD, you get, man, you get a lot of stuff. First class edition. We got another one, we got a Carbuncle? Dude, if this thing's like $5,000, I'm still buying like 10 of them. Dude, you get hella shit. And before, wait, it's it's 330? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, dude. It, it, dude, this is this is going to be the funny thing. Like, what if the speedrunning community for this game, they're going to be like, Ha ha lol, pay to win. And uh, let's say, let's say, I don't, it's probably a very low likelihood of it. Um, oh, the, uh, the, the pay to winners, they get an advantage because they have these summons that make the game faster or whatever. So it's going to be like no pre order and pre order categories for these uh, <laughs> that don't actually care about the game. Which I, I don't really care.